Hello class, so this time this is the continuation of our discussion sa example number 19 So kung maalala nyo sa previous video, sinagutan na natin to using the conventional method However, as I said nga doon sa uh, last video na this ano two axle beam sorry two axle loads common na common talaga to class sa board exam so sa sobrang common nagawa na lang to class ng shortcut formulas okay no so kung maalala niyo may 50 kilo newton and 30 kilo newton tayo and yung distances nga sa pagitan nila is um 4 meter yung span ng bridge ay 25 meter Okay, so ngayon, um, this is the shortcut formula class for the maximum shear and moment of the beam subjected to two axle loads. So gusto ko lang ipaalala sa inyo that this formulas class are applicable lang kung meron lang dalawa. So kapag tatlo na, um, hindi na yun class pwede. Okay, so limited lang sa dalawang formula, sa dalawang loads. So which is ito nga yung problem natin, may dalawang axle loads. Okay. So, gusto ko lang i-define kung ano yung formula. So, the maximum shear, the absolute maximum shear will be PL minus PSD divided by L. And the maximum, ano, the absolute maximum moment is PL minus PSD squared over 4PL. So, ano ba yung P? That is the resultant of axle load. So, sa case natin, halimbawa class, syempre, the resultant is yung 80 kN. So, sa kagandahan dito, there is no need na to compute the to compute the value of x. So, literal lang na substitution dito. Basta alam mo na syempre, yung resultant is 80 kN. Yung L natin is the length or the span of the beam. Yung PS class is the magnitude of the smaller axle load. So, sa case natin, syempre, we are referring to this 30 kN class. And lastly, yung D is the distance between two axle load. So, yung D, yung 4 meters. Yung literal na distance sa pagitan nilang dalawa. Okay? So, therefore, um, halimbawa nga, gamitin natin to class na formula ito para mapatunayan na tama yung ginawa natin sa previous video. So, yung P natin, based nga dito sa original given, no, 50 plus 30 siya, di ba? 50 plus 30, 80 kilon newton. The span of the beam class is equal to 25 meters. And at the same time class, no, um, yung PS natin is equal to, yung mas maliit nga, 30 kilon newtons. And lastly, yung distance nga is 4 meter. Okay? So, ayun. When I say 4 meter class, I am referring to the distance of two axle loads. So, therefore, um, utilize natin to. Gamitin natin siya. So, yung V max na absolute class is equal to, yung formula nga is PL minus PSD all over P. Okay? All over eh, um, L. Sorry. So, just substitute class the values. So, that will be equal to 80 times 25 minus 30 times 4 divided by 25. So, check natin siya. Plus 30 times 4 divided by 25. So, ang lalabas, sorry, minus pala. Nagkamali ako ng pag-type class, no? So, ang lalabas ay 75.2 kN. However, uh, for the maximum absolute absolute maximum moment naman class, um, that will be equal to um, PL minus PSD squared over 4 PL. Okay, so yun. So, sulat lang natin siya dito class. So, Yung P nga natin ay equal sa 80 25 plus 30 times 4 na naka-squared all over 4 times 80, 25. Okay? So, computein natin siya. 80, 25 minus 30 times 4 squared over 4 times 80, 25. So, ang lalabas ay 441.8 kN a meter. So, therefore, meron na tayong maximum shear 
and meron na tayong maximum moment. So gusto ko class na patunayan sa inyo na tama nga ito. So di ba nga sa previous na video na pinanood ninyo, which is yung video na sinundan nito, um sinold na natin siya. So um yun na nga the maximum shear is 75.2 kN. So yun nagreflect. The maximum moment is 441.8 kN meter. So ayan siya nagreflect. However, um wala tayong formula dito para mahanap natin class yung location. So still, syempre recommended ko pa rin yung first example class kung ang tanong is may kasamang location. Pero kung wala naman magnitude of maximum shear and magnitude of maximum moment din lang naman ang tanong, okay na itong formula. Pero no, um ipapa-remind ko lang kayo that this analysis or this formula, uulitin natin is limited lang siya class sa dalawang axle load. So, kapag mga tatlo, let's say for instance, itong next example natin, hindi na class, pwede yung formula natin. So, I hope, no, naintindihan nyo itong discussion natin for this um, topic. So, yun lang class. Um, wala naman na ako masyado ditong i-input pa. So, I hope nga may natutunan kayo dito sa video presentation na ito. So, bye-bye!